Hello Commanders, this week we got a new event, the Parallel Superimposition, which introduced a new UR alongside 4 other ships. So let's take a look at them. We'll start with the two elites. First we have Langley 2, a light aircraft carrier. She has an insanely high torpedo efficiency of 155%, and both her skills give her and other carriers in her fleet more damage, which is kinda nuts. She's held back by the fact that 1. She's an elite ship, so she has elite stats. She has 100 less aviation than most SR carriers. And 2. She's a light aircraft carrier, so she's missing a third plane slot. I still think she's a good ship, but she's also an elite ship. So, unfortunate. Our second elite ship is Hammond 2. She is a destroyer with the coveted air raid assistance skill. So increases carrier damage by 15%, also decreases your flagship damage taken by 25%. This skill alone means that you're gonna find uses out of her. And she's not just a filler elite ship. Her second skill gives firepower and anti-air, and increases her tankiness every time she shoots down enemy aircrafts. Which, considering she has two anti-air guns, is probably pretty good. I mean, she's still a destroyer. So like she's not that tanky in the first place, but every little bit helps. And then she also has, on her third limit break, she gets a special anti-sub weapon. Which might be pretty good, because her anti-sub stat is also pretty high. Altogether, like, a pretty strong ship. She has air raid assistance, she has decent anti-air, and she has decent anti-sub. A pretty strong ship, all things considered, for an elite. Next we have Hornet 2. She is the free ship you get just by playing the event. You can buy her in the shop or she can come up as a drop. Her first skill gives a barrage with a burn and increases damage against light carriers and light cruisers. Not bad, like a standard barrage skill. Her second skill gives her the usual 15% aviation buff, increases her fighter gear efficiency to 155%, which is very high and she can increase her aviation by shooting down enemy aircrafts. Altogether, her second skill gives her a ton of damage. And then her third skill gives her evasion and damage reduction, as well as a pseudo immunity effect. I mean, it helps, right? If she's dying, she resets her detection gauge to zero and it decreases ramming damage. Oh no, it makes her immune to ramming damage. It's, it's okay, it's okay. And then we have Northampton 2. She is a heavy cruiser. She is a gun cruiser with main gun plus one and auxiliary DD guns. Her first skill essentially gives a permanent 10% damage buff to all cruisers in your vanguard. Honestly, I wish it was just 10% to all ships. Like, if they made it 10% to all ships, I still don't think she'd be OP. She'd be good, but not OP. Her second skill gives her evasion and damage reduction in a carrier fleet, as well as a barrage and a slow. Slow is pretty nice because to my knowledge, no Eagle Union carrier has a slow. But if you're playing e full Eagle Union carriers, she's a pretty good ship to include. I just wish the first skill was 10% damage up for all ships, not just cruisers. And finally, we have the UR ship, Yorktown 2. Her efficiencies are all kind of middling, but she does have 9 planes. And then we take a look at her skills. Her first skill essentially gives herself constant heals and a constant 6% anti-air debuff. Pretty straightforward and yes, and a barrage. Her second skill requires 3 Eagle Union ships in your fleet and it gives her the usual 15% aviation buff. She also gets another barrage that decreases her detection gauge as well as a cross-fleet effect that gives firepower to Eagle Union main fleet ships and another barrage. The fact that the barrage fires at 18 seconds means that the detection gauge starts decreasing before her actual airstrike comes out. And if you don't know what detection gauge does, if she is below the red line on the detection gauge, she gets a 10% damage buff. So I, the idea behind this you know, this barrage fires, your detection gauge starts decreasing, and you get below the red line before your actual airstrike comes out. So your actual airstrike does 10% more damage. 
Her third skill essentially gives reload, damage, and anti-air to other Yorktowns and SX class carriers. The reload doesn't affect herself, but the damage and anti-air does. The reason I say anti-air is that it says interceptive airstrike, which I'm assuming means only shoots like anti-air fighters, so no surface damage. I don't think Yorktown 2 is going to be used in the boss. Like, you're still going to be using Shinano Hakuryu if you have them. Right? I don't think Yorktown is going to fit in that third slot. One, she doesn't carry a slow. And two, she very much restricts your fleet composition. Because Shinano needs three Sakura ships, and now Yorktown needs three Eagle Union ships. So you're, you're kind of stuck. Shinano, Hakuryu, Kazugumo, and then like Yorktown, Helena, Anchorage. Because you still need a tank. You're, you're kind of stuck. Like, I think Yorktown 2 is strong. I mean, if we get other Eagle Union carriers released, then I think Yorktown is going to be very good. But for now, like, Yorktown is a little underwhelming. Honestly, overall, my feelings about the five ships in this event is that they're all, they're all good, but kind of underwhelming. But I will say, for the new skins... These skins are truly skins because all they show is skin.